more than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 36 wins, 17 losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Clay, the carpenter, we And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. And when the action begins, I'll be in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. stances here his leg is hurt here you can see him limping a little bit single collar tie now and a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here and if you're the opponent you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend but you can see him now starting to gain posture in these it's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Guida gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Oh, nice job with the new strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time. So with that, was the right time. And now trying to take the back. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. Take it oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. A takedown straight high impact what? skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. All right, that's right. <laughs> Settle down, buddy. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. 
All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Doesn't seem to be in a great position to finish the triangle. Oh, well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. And this might just be a matter of time. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly. But today, it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect. But it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. Oh, now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, what? he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, at this point, he's the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Back to his feet. Nice kick. Dribbling uppercut for him there. Stuffed the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? 
Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. why it took him so long to go to the well with the body shot, but he landed to the midsection there, nicely placed right underneath the elbow. Oh, solid by down two. Gets up again here, but hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there, there as the tallest fighter loses his head again. Huge strike. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crouch. I mean, do I survive that, or am no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Good work from the top here by Guida. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. They go the 15 minute distance. What a fight! The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' full cards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, Darren Till! All right, so there he is, your winner by majority decision. So we don't see that every day, but two of the three judges whose scorecards obviously matter had it for him, and he gets the win. And we knew right away that this would be a very close fight. We just did not know it was going to be this close, right? The odds were dead even. Everybody.